All right, Gina, you came out with four of the eight total aces in the first game. You guys um, set up a really high um, speed offense. What kind of advantage do you think that gave your team in the first set and then carrying you through the next two sets? Um, I definitely think it's established a really good momentum for us. Um, I know we kind of started out a little bit slow, but um, slowly we, got, we were able to work into it and come out with a 3-0 win. What kind of adjustments did your team make between the first set and the second set to give your team a 17-point win over New Mexico in the second set? I definitely think that we lowered our errors going into the second game. I know the first game we had quite a few errors, and that's how they had such a close match. But um, after we made them earn their points, it, the game definitely changed. All right, you have made it. This is your fourth time to the NCAA tournament. Your first year, you went all the way to the Final Four, and the next two years, you got out in the second round. With your NCAA tournament experience, what kind of advice are you giving the underclassmen about playoff pressure and how to handle um, the next game tomorrow night against San Diego? Um, well, definitely every match is, every. it could be everyone's last match. So I know that all the teams are always giving their best effort, so that's one thing to always look for, but also the fact that if we stay calm and relaxed, and if we play together, um, how we've been playing this whole season, that in the end we'll come out with wins. 